but it also has a compartment where you can put in your coins. Oh, I found, oh! <laughs> you know when you find 10 pound? Hey guys, it's your girl Shalina, and I'm back with a new video. I know it took me ages, I'm so sorry. That's not even because I'm lazy or not in the mood, it's really because I am super busy. It's December, the year is coming to an end, and I just have so much work to do. But today I finally have the time to shoot a new video. I asked you yesterday on my Instagram what you guys wanna see next a handbag collection or a Q&A. Most of y'all voted for a handbag collection. I think I'm still gonna do a Q&A because there were still a lot of people that voted for a Q&A. But right now we are focusing on my handbag collection. Some of these handbags that I'm gonna show you have a little story to them, so this can be a little bit chatty today, but I'm gonna try my best to not make it too long. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the very first designer handbag I purchased. It is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM bag. And let me tell you something guys, I remember the time so well when I purchased this bag. That was in December 2014. I remember it so well simply because I had to save for months to just buy this bag. and. 2014 was the year when I started like being a blogger, but I was still working at H&M and I was still studying. And let me tell you something, my bids were 800 and what I earned a month was 802. So obviously I just didn't have the financial resources to buy a Louis Vuitton bag that comes for like, I think them times it was 800 pound, like roughly 900 euros. I think Louis Vuitton, they, with their prices every year, just goes up and up and up. It might be more expensive now, them times it was roughly 800 pound and I didn't have the money for it. So over the year when I started to be a blogger and some little checks came in, I could put like 50 or 100 a month to the side and when it was December, I was finally able to purchase this bag. That's why it means so much to me. I'm not really wearing it every day no more because it's more like it's so huge and I just prefer these mini bags. But when I go to the gym, this is my bag and um, it actually comes with a little pouch but since I moved houses from Germany to London, I cannot seem to find this pouch anymore. I'm so angry, but I just hope it's somewhere in my messy closet hidden. Maybe when I move houses, I will find it hopefully. That's my little story about this bag. So the next bag that I have is this mini vintage Chanel bag. Um, yeah, it is vintage simply because I could not afford a brand new Chanel bag and I actually like these vintage Chanel bags. Sometimes I even prefer them over the new ones because it has like the simple vintage design. It's mini, it is cute and I got this from a vintage store. I don't even remember the name anymore. I haven't worn this bag in a while but that's simply because I'm so obsessed with color bags. That's what you're going to see in a little bit that this was just simply in a little corner. So the next bag that I got is this Givenchy Antigona in this nude color. I purchased this bag last year in Paris. That was my first vacation that I had with my boyfriend, with Patrick, you know him already. And we went to Paris and we went to Galerie Lafayette and when I was there, I saw this bag and I was just like, I need to have this bag. And what I really like about this bag is that it's not too small and it's not too big. So you can either wear it for a night out and have it like this, or even when you're outside, you can just use the longer straps and even show you this, wear it like this. I really like this bag and even when I'm on holiday I can put my vlogging camera into this bag and it comes for I think it's £1,125 but I'm not too sure maybe it's also only £1,100 but yeah this is one of my favorite bags. Just as a little background information I was always obsessed with handbags but obviously like I said in the beginning earlier on I did not have the financial resources to buy all these bags and I just want to let you know guys because I know a lot of young people are watching me too I was 24 years old when I purchased my first handbag and I had to save up for it for almost a year and obviously over the years I grew I got better work and opportunities and I'm finally in a better position where I would say I can almost buy what I like 
So the next handbag that I purchased, that was roughly a year ago, must have been November, December 2016, is this Gucci Dionysus bag. This is the mini version. When this bag came out, I was obsessed with this bag. Now I feel like you see it everywhere. It comes in the craziest colors and all sizes with everything on it. And um, yeah, when it came out, I saw it, I wanted it, and I got it. And I'm actually very happy about this purchase because this Gucci bag just goes with everything because it's like very neutral on all the bags. They're so colored, so I'm happy, happy that I have this bag. I really like this chain detail, so you can either wear it like this, or you can stay it, or you can wear it like that. The bag is not too big, let me be real with you, but what I really like is that it has a perfect or a good size to put a little wallet in there at least because I have some bags so I'm thinking nothing fits in there and you have a little compartment here a little pocket where you can just put yeah little things in there maybe your card holder or something and yeah it is a nice bag overall this bag is between 1100 and 1200 pounds the next handbag is the Gucci Mamont velvet in fuchsia <laughs> Guys, pronouncing these colors, fuchsia. I think it's fuchsia. I love this bag. This was my winter bag 2016, 2017, last year. Bought this last year in December in Hamburg at the Gucci store. What can I say about this color? I just love colored bags. And this was one of the very first Gucci velvet bags that came out. I think there was like a turquoise one as well that came out during that period of time and I just had to get it. This is the small one, there's even a mini one, but this is the bigger one, not the bigger, bigger, there's even a bigger one. And um, I love this bag because you can wear it at night or you can wear it during the day. It is amazing and it is quite big. So you can put a little vlogging camera in there at least, you can put a wallet in there. Hmm, I have chewing gum in here, nice. Wow, I have a Crep Protect wipe in there. Guys, you need to check Crep Protect out. They are the best when it comes to cleaning your sneakers, but I'm gonna make a separate video about that. I just find the weirdest things in there. Like, I was missing this comb, honestly. Now I have a bag, and I'm gonna miss that again. <laughs> now we're back to the bag. I am obsessed with this bag. I love the gold detail. It just looks glamorous. I love the size and I'm happy that I got it. This bag was roughly 1,250. I'm gonna find out all the prices because if I'm saying something wrong, I'm just gonna write it down because sometimes it's like 50 more or 100 less and I wanna give you the exact price. So here we have another Givenchy. It's the same as the new one I showed you in the beginning. This is the Givenchy Antigona in mini in pink. You know, I love pink, pink hair. I have pink hair before as well. I love pink shoes. I love pink actually everything. I'm such a girl sometimes, sometimes. And um, why I purchased this bag is simply because it was on sale. I got it for 500 euros which is approximately like 400 and something pound and when i saw the price difference i couldn't say no i was even thinking mm, am i gonna wear this color or not but the price is so amazing that i had to cop it because like i said i love the antigona in general because it's just so handy what i also want to say is what's good about Givenchy is actually that they're always having major sales so you can actually save a lot of money when you buy the bag at the right time so always watch out for the summer sales or winter sales because they're not only dropping 10% or 20% but like I said from 1,100 something to 400 and something this is a major difference on to the next bag this one is the mini sunset bag from Saint Laurent and what I love about this bag is the hologram effect i don't know if you can see this through the camera but it shines like bluish greenish and yellowish in the sun that's the reason why i bought this bag it's so many it's still over a thousand pound unfortunately what i love about this bag is i have a mini card holder from saint Laurent, and all their bags and that's what i love about them they have a little compartment for it so it fits perfectly in there and 
I'm the type of person because, like I said, I prefer these mini bags. I do not have a wallet. I normally don't even walk around with cash. But when I have cash, it's just always flying around in my bag. So the good thing about this bag is it has this um, card holder bit and it also has a compartment where you can put in your coins. Oh, I found, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know when you find 10 pounds? Nah, this is a joke. I didn't even know there's money in there. And obviously, I cannot believe I have a crap protect wipe in every bag because you know me, I don't want to get my sneakers dirty. But you know what? I'm so happy that I found money. This is funny. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this bag. I mostly wear it for a night out. I don't really wear it during the day because it's a bit like, it's a bit much going on. So I prefer to wear it for a night out with some cute silver heels to match. And yeah, that's it about it bag. So back to Gucci now. This is another purchase I made this year. This is the Gucci, um, let me just say mini bag because it has a name that I do not want to pronounce now, but I'm going to make sure to write it down. And um, what I really like about this bag is that it's under a thousand pounds. I paid 800 euros for it because I bought it in Germany. It is 700 pound. And if you're looking for a more affordable bag, this is definitely a bag that you can start with, that you can save up for. What's good about this bag as well, if you're a vlogger, your vlogging camera fits in there. I like to use it a lot when I'm on vacation because I can just put my vlogging camera in there, my lipstick, my cardboard, everything just fits in there and it's not too big and not too small and it is good for day wear and also for night wear so yeah it's a bit embarrassing but when i like something i like something and that is the reason why i have a third bag of this this is another Givenchy antigona bag in yellow and those that follow me on instagram know this summer was my year of the color yellow like i'm obsessed with yellow this year this is my color of the year so when i saw this bag i was thinking i need to buy it like there's not even a discussion about this i love yellow yellow looks good on everything if you're looking for a bag that you can wear every day of the year and it looks good and it works with other weather conditions then I wouldn't recommend this bag. This is simply really just like a summer and spring bag. The next bag is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Felicie. I bought this bag not too long ago, two, three months ago. This bag is also more affordable than the others. The good thing about this bag is that it's not only a bag, but it comes with a pochette as well and this is very handy because like i said i do not have a wallet so this is perfect for my little coins that i find here and there and it has enough space for my card holder too maybe a little lip gloss and a hand cream there's no space for anything more but like i said this is more affordable i would not really recommend it to people that are looking for their first handbag like i said it's just not a lot that can fit in there but it's still a nice handy bag if you do not want to carry that much with you this bag that i'm going to show you now is my absolute favorite bag this year it is the saint laurent lulu bag in velvet burgundy this is the small one it looks big to me even though it's small, like I just don't think it's a small bag, especially because I can put my vlogging camera in there and the tripod separately, but it fits in there. A wallet fits in there, a card holder fits in there. You can even put like a big hand cream in there, a little bit of makeup. This bag is amazing and I am obsessed with the color. Burgundy is just amazing and especially with the gold and the velvet, I could not say no. Like I asked you when I bought this on my Snapchat if I should buy this one or the black one. Obviously everyone was for the burgundy one. I love this bag and I do not regret buying it one second. And yeah, I can only recommend it. I mean, this is a good bag, but it is obviously a bit more expensive. It is over 1,200. I think I paid 1,350 for it. I'm not too sure I'm gonna write the price down, but it is more expensive. But what I can say about this bag, you can wear it every day, nighttime, daytime, and stuff fits in there. And it's not too big. The last bag that I'm going to show you is the bag I bought in Dubai in my last vlog. Most of you know which one it is. It is the 
Gucci velvet bag in red this time. It is smaller than the other one. Let me show you the other one. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the small one, or this is the mini one, and this is the small one. That, like I said, there's also a bigger one of these. I saw this in Dubai, I was just falling in love with it. I actually like the size. In the beginning, I was thinking maybe this bag is too small because I'm used to this bag, but it's actually not. I feel like there's not that big of a difference. Yeah, I don't even know what else I can send to these bags. That was it, that was my handbag collection. I hope you had fun watching. I hope to be more consistent with my videos from now on. I hope I find more time to shoot these videos and edit them. But yeah, make sure you follow me on all my social media accounts and then I can just say, I'll see you guys in my next video, bye bye.